Hello, my name is Zephania from Dahua Technology Kenya office. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to manage access control device on DSS. Uh, so uh, the first thing you need to do is go to configuration, then device, uh, then I create an organization. So I'll just call it Z organization. Then I say, okay, uh, once I do that, uh, the next thing is I select that organization and add a device. So I'll key in the IP address. Then I change the device category to access control. Uh, then the password, I key in the new password, the device password actually. Then uh, once that is done, uh, I'll be taken to the next screen where I enter more details about the device. So I'll just enter the device model. Uh, once I enter the device model, I confirm the other things, including the verification capability we have. We have card and fingerprint which we will add just to confirm then i add then the device comes on so the next thing is i need to add users to add users i come to configuration then person vehicle information uh, i'll just create a new person group uh, person group. so i'll use this then this person group has super admin and admin device uh, permission for now you can use any other permission group that you want and as a person group i'll add the first person uh, who i'll call uh, daisy so i'll use daisy for this person then uh, i say gender female then i can key in the other details but what i need more importantly is to add the fingerprint and card so i'll start by this person's card I just go to setting, I pick the uh, the device that I need to use, uh, so I'll say device, then read one. If I have a, an enrollment station, I can also use that. Then uh, once that is done, I click add and then swipe. So once I swipe, uh, it will capture the card information. Then uh, the next thing is um, save. Once I confirm the validity period, so this to this. And I say okay. Uh, the next person I'll add, add is called John. Uh, to add John, uh, I'll still do the same thing. So I create an access role for him. Uh, still, I realize my configuration is still the same. So the one, read the one of the device. Uh, then I click on add. Then I swipe the card. Once I once I swap the card, I can save. I can also choose to add John's fingerprint, so I click add. Ah, sorry, sorry. Before that, I have to configure the setting of it as a fingerprint collection scanner or device. So we do it from the device. So I select the device, the one, read the one. I say OK, then I click on add and then add fingerprint. I press my fingerprint on the device. Once I press the fingerprint, it will scan and save. Then once that is done, I confirm the validity and say OK. So I've added two people, two users. So the next thing is uh, I need to create a zone. Uh, for this, I come to access, control, then zone management. Under zone management, uh, I'll create a new zone. I'll just call uh, it is still under site, the main, so I call it uh, Zef zone A. Hey use this then i can change the icon based on preference uh, then uh, the who rules is super admin and admin are still allowed then i go uh, to the next so i have this zone z zone a but this is our device so i select this device and move to the zone z zone a uh, so under z zone a if i if i double click on it i'll be able to see my device then i need to map this information this device is in the office so i'll configure a map so i choose to add a new a new map i just call it self uh, office map uh, then once i do that i select an image of the office plan and i say open it will import to dss then i put okay 
Now I can easily drag my access control device, the map, uh, then add to this Office 5 door. So the device is on Office 5 door uh, with the information in the zone A. So once that is done, I go to access rule and add an access rule. So I'll just create a new rule and call it Z weekday access rule. Then uh, I select the period to weekday template. Then select by person group. So I add a person group. So I'll select Z person group and add to this weekday person group and mark it. Uh, the next thing is uh, I press OK. Then make sure to select Zef with the access rule, then say OK. So once I have this, uh, I come to access rule and then select all rules. So I'll notice Zef with the access rule is already assigned to persons uh, who are uh, who have access. So and generally when I click on that, I can view more information about uh, the task. So once that is done, uh, I can now remotely unlock this door by going to home, to the applications, then under access management, we have access control panel, I select ZF zone A, I can easily unlock and lock the, lock the door. Of course, every time I do this, it will appear under the zones, uh, like the information, I can click record if I do binding to a video channel. So I can also try to swipe a card. Uh, I'll get this exception, period error. Reason being, uh, I set a weekday template, and today is on a weekend I'm recording this video, so it cannot un unlock. But if we used a week weekend template, then it can unlock. So... So the next thing is, I want to try to create a rule, uh, a different rule. So I'll still come to access control, then I add a rule. Uh, this rule, I'll call it ZEF remote unlock. Then uh, the rule type, of course, I'll choose remote unlock. Uh, so I'll use remote verification. Then uh, let me use maybe weekend template. So now on weekend, then I select the access point uh, at this door, and I say OK. Uh, once that is done, I make sure to select it. Once that is done, I say OK. Remote uh, verification is right here. So it's possible to add more rules. Uh, to, to this door. So that is done. So that's a brief introduction of the remote rule. So it's giving me a small error. The device is offline. So this is something I need to troubleshoot the device and bring back online. But generally, uh, that shows you how you can create access control and uh, issue uh, access rules. Thank you.